Hey, hey, Hector. Hello, Hector. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. How do you do tonight? Fine, teacher. I, I, right now, I, I finished my dinner. Oh. And I, I am watching a movie with my family, but for, because the class has started, I finished to watch. Okay, yeah, correct. So we have in this opportunity the time class. Or so what movie are you watching with them? It is called Infinitive. It's a sus suspenso in ciencia ficción. Ah, okay. It's ciencia ficción in, in English is uh, science science with comes from the the subject in the school. Science fiction. Science fiction. Yes, like this. Science fic fiction. Uh, science fiction. Yes. Or okay. you can you can check the in some places, maybe in websites, in applications, or in apps. That is, there is a short way. That is sci. Sci sci-fi, I guess. Sci-fi. Oh, yes. Okay. That is a short, a short way of saying science fiction. It's uh, more sci-fi, yes. Sci-fi. Just okay. let me make sure about the the spelling. Sci-fi, because I might be wrong. Yeah. Ah, here it is. It it wasn't with with Y. It is it is with I. Sci -fi. I. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, to get it. Okay. Thank perfect. You. Perfect. So you can use ah. I'm checking a sci-fi movie. Easier. Okay. Checking sci-fi movies. Sir. Okay. Good. And suspense. Sci-fi and suspense. What a combination of genres. <laughs> Yeah, teacher in action also. Ah, in action. Okay. What is it? Yeah. What is the movie's name? What's the movie's name? Infinity. 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 Yeah. Infinitive or infinity or infinity. Infinity. No. The infinite. Uh, the first one. Ah, the first one. Yeah. First ah, okay. One. I'm going to look for it. So I like. Yeah, I recommend. Ah, okay. I recommend. I recommend you. Ah, okay. Como, como digo, se la recomiendo, etc. I recommend it. I recommend it. To you. To you. Yes. All right. I'm going to look for it. Movie. Yeah, okay, infinite. Or it's wonderful. Infinity movie. movie. Okay, great. I'm gonna look for it. Is is when I have that. Good. And Good. let's see. And your classmates. Let's see if you are if they are. Ah, yes, Rebecca. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Uh, you hear me, Rebecca? Hector, you hear me? Yeah, sure. Okay, all right. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Francisco Sanchez, hello. Okay, you're all right, guys. Uh, we are only uh, four. We are only four people, but let's begin already because times advances pretty quickly okay welcome guys good let evening. me hey good evening now i hear you yes yes okay issues with with the microphone like me <laughs> like me the previous class i have net i have some problem with my 
Don't worry, check. You yes. Have time to check. Well, okay, but now I can hear you pretty cool. Xiomara, hello, Xiomara. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How was your weekend, guys? Did you spend a good weekend? Did you do anything interesting or exciting? Was busy, very busy for me. Okay, be busy, busy for you. Yes. Okay. Hey, for example, what activities did you do during the weekend? Well, uh, I I did many chores. Chores. I don't. Uh, it it is writing chores. That's uh, like uh, diligencias. Ah, oh, okay. You mean about uh, a small, for example, a small going out. But we don't say going out. There, there mm -hmm. is a word that you can use. Ah, I, I have to do many errands. This um, is the word that you're looking uh, for. Yes, errands and at home chores. Okay, in a in a home chores. Yes. Okay. Ah, course. And last and and yesterday I have been working. I worked from six a.m. From six until until almost three. <clears throat> okay, many many working hours, Omara. Okay, very busy as you said. Okay, but that's good and that's bad at the same time. But anyways, okay, guys, welcome. Welcome this to this Monday of class. The session is going to be session number. Number, number. What number of the session is it? Nine. Number nine. Yes, we are reached session number nine. Okay, welcome, guys. Let's go directly to the topic that we are going to check today. Okay. Uh, topic, Hector, what is the topic on the top? Telling stories. Telling stories. Guys, do you recognize this picture? What is this picture about? What is this, Tiquitio? Yes, that's <laughs> it. Ah, you got it. Very quickly, you know about this story. Because this is famous. It is huh, about... The Salvadorian folklore. Folklore, yes. In El Salvador, we have many things, uh, food, drinks, but we have folklore. Uh, besides the Cipitio, what in what what other story do you know or you have heard in El Salvador? The Siwanapa. The Siwanapa. Or Siwanaba. Siwanaba. I heard Siwanapa. Siwan, la Siwawapa, no? Siwawapa is no, it's Siwanaba. Okay, yes, Sipitio is a mother, some people say. Some people say Sipitio is mother, Siwanaba. True or false? What do you think? That the Siwanaba is Sipitio is a mother? Yeah, teacher, my grandmother told me that the Siwanaba is the mother of Cipitio. And when the people wash, wash the, the clothes in the river, then the Siwanaba appear. Oh, so frightening. <laughs> Qué miedo, right? So frightening. That is yeah. That's it. Okay, good, good. That's the one we have the Siwanaba, Cipitio. What else? What any other story? Hello, Daniel. We are talking about folklore in El Salvador, stories that we have. Hey, hello. Good evening to everyone. Good evening. Um, Welcome. Uh, Daniel. Uh, I know the history for the Salvadoran folklore, like the Cadejo. Ah, the that's Cadejo, right. Cadejo is a, is a kind of dog. Uh, he works in the... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> or the beverage? <laughs> <laughs> this is another kind of the history of the folklore that is <laughs> delicious. Uh, 
but uh, my grandfather uh, told me about that history, like um, in the seats in the in a little downtown, like uh, two kind of of this cadejo and cadejo black and cadejo white. The the black is for the men and men, and the white is for the women. All right, that's a different version, the one that you mentioned, uh, Daniel. But we are gonna read about about that. Don't worry. Damaris, Xiomara, and Francisco, welcome. Welcome, guys. Hope Thank you, teacher. Great. Good evening. All right, we are talking about Salvadorian folklore, CPT, Osiwanaba, Cadejo, but not the beer. Okay, but the <laughs> the concept was very well used. Fue bien usado, the concept. I like it. Like it. Cadejo yes. beer is, is the best story. <laughs> uh -huh, the best story, but in, in the pubs. <laughs> But in the pubs, the pubs is like the store, the the branch of. Recently, the good in a very history, history really, yeah. Rebecca. <laughs> ah, okay, but be careful. We're gonna read about those stories. Okay, good. Let's see. We have this picture of where the mother is telling because the verb is tell. The mother is telling stories, stories to her two daughters. What is she talking about? in the first bubble. What is the story about or the tale? Uh -huh. This is the space. About the space, maybe astronauts. Okay, good, the space rocket. The stars. About the stars, the universe, etc. The second one, the second story. Dragon. Harry Potter uh, dragons. Uh -huh. Aha, about the dragons, I don't know. <laughs> ah, maybe that, correct? That might be. And number three? Princess. About a princess living in a beautiful castle. Or Shrek. Shrek. Ah, Shrek. about Shrek, that's it. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Very cool, Shrek. Hey, teacher. Yeah. Uh -huh. This situation... I remember in a, in a many, many times ago when the, um, in El Salvador, uh, I brought this situation when the, the light is turned off for the war. So I remember in my family, my grandfather uh, making a, a reunion or a meeting with the, my brother and my other cousin. And he started to, uh, to tell about the, the folklore, Salvadorian folklore, but it's really, really scary because uh, the old men and the old woman in the Salvador try to to tell with the little details, and this um, the people who hearing uh, imagine this situation, and this is very, very scary. Yeah. What do you think about a uh, um, classmate with this situation? Uh huh. Guys, what do you think about that? When people with uh, when people all know all people, <laughs> we, we, yep. can, we can say all know he's uh, grown up, crecido, right? Grown up. Okay. Grown up. Uh huh, guys. In my case, I like to hear that stories. You like them. Yeah, I like scary ah, stuff. Okay, it's scary. Sure. Scary story. When I was child, I make a story with my with my cousin. Ah, really? Yeah, I I invent. Ah, you invented the story. Yeah, the uh, yeah. yeah, it's true. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Uh, when when I I watch a movie, for example, the the espantapájaro and I I make a, a story with for my cousins. Ah, okay, okay, very and, good. And my and my uh -huh. sibling for my sibling. Too. Yeah. Did and, were and, they scared? Yeah, it's very scary when I I I tell I tell them. And I tell them the, the story, he 
he he was very attent. Ah, okay, attentive to listen to it. Okay, to listen, yeah. Ah, that's great. In the past, it is in the past. I told them. I told them the story. Story. Yes, because it's simple past. I told them. Let's continue. Play story. Okay, good. very good. Nice, Hector. All right. Yes. Yeah, Daniel, it's pretty interesting to hear how grown up people tell those scary stories. Okay, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You have already mentioned some of them. Let's go with a couple of definitions. Let's see. Uh, Damaris, welcome. Can you help me reading the first definition about this word? The word is? Story. Story. What's now, a story? Story? Description. A description, a true imaginer of a connected series of events. All right. Good. It says a story is a description either, either, either true, true or, or imagined, imagined, uh, imagined, imagined of a connected, of a connected series of series events. of events. Ah, okay, connected event series, connected. They have relation. All right. Very good. Thank you. Let's see, uh, maybe Francisco Sanchez, the next definition, please, with a word. Francisco? Yep. We hear you. Okay, Rebecca, maybe? Yes, tell. Hmm? Um. I study especially one that that mean being better or difficult to believe. All right, let's read it together. I story. I story especially, especially one, one that might that might might is que puede ser right. It's possible that might, might be invented invented. Or, yeah, invented, correct. Or difficult to believe. To believe, okay. Check. Uh, there is uh, difference between the two words, a story and tale. They are not the same, it's different. Let's see the chat. Ah, okay. All right, no problem. Sure. Okay, yeah. How can I say in English, fabula? Tale. Tale, yeah. here it is. Tale means... Oh, okay, 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 thanks. Cuento o fábula, yes. This is the word. Okay, have you heard uh, maybe about the the fairy? What is a fairy? Fairy tale. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es el what cuento is... de hadas. Correct. Life is not a fairy tale. <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> okay, very a good apply. All right, guys. Yes, let's continue with the next part. Next part. Let's check. Oh, the picture is Daniel. The bear, Rebecca. Uh huh. Carajo. The beer, beer. The word is beer. Beer. No, it's not about the beer. Okay, maybe Rebecca likes a lot that beer. All right. Let's open the first link. Check, guys. In this link, you are going to find. About this, can you read the title? Uh, let's see, Xiomara. Yes. Myth and Legends of El Salvador. Okay, guys, when, when you have a doubt about pronunciation, remember, you can use a dictionary. How do you pronounce it, guys? Myth. 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 Uh -huh. Myth. What's a myth? Myth, an ancient story or set of stories, especially explaining early is history of a group uh, of people or about natural natural events and facts. 
Ah, okay. Now we have a new word. Check myth and the corresponding definition. The next one is? The next legend. word? Legend. Because it is related. Está relacionado. It's related. Yes. What's a legend? Can you read it? Maybe, uh, let's see, uh, Ada or Carla Elena. Okay, What's a teacher. legend? Legend, a very old story of set of stories from ancient times or the stories not always true that people tell about a famous event or person. Okay, nice. All right. That's a legend. A very old story or a set of stories from ancient times or these stories, not always true, that people tell about a famous event or person. Yes. All right. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. Guys, we are going to read a little bit. We are going to be doing listening, reading, listening, reading. The first paragraph, I'm going to copy it. Check what I do. Copy the paragraph. And in the presentation, you have this second link. Uh, do you know the, the AI? What is AI? You know the, the two letters? Artificial intelligence. Ah, yes, correct. Artificial intelligence. This website is uh, pretty much that. So you copy and paste the text in this part. You hit on the button play and we can listen. Okay, we are going to listen this paragraph. You just follow the reading with the listening. Ghost stories. Those two words have had the power to inspire your heart to pump excitement through your veins in double time ever since you were a kid. And undoubtedly will do the same as you embark on a getaway to a new country and hear those two words while learning about the local culture and history. Okay, if it's too fast, you can lower the speed. See? You can lower it. And undoubtedly will do the same as you embark on a getaway to a new country and hear those two words while learning about the local culture and history. This is the first Aside from tropical beaches. Excuse me? This election is fast. Okay, I'm going to lower it more. 75. Okay, 135 words per minute. Let's try this setting. Aside from tropical beaches, uncrowded waves, and mouth-watering pupusas. Better? El Salvador is rich with legends and folklore that help to contribute to the unique people and culture that make your vacation destination what it is today. While South and Central America are rich with folklore, many of the legends and stories overlap and vary from one country to the next, each having its own special twist characterizing it as unique. A great deal of these tales go back to the colonization of El Salvador and are still told to scare children today, mostly used to keep people from wandering alone in the night. While the options are overwhelming, here are a few of the more prominent tales told in El Salvador to send shivers down your spine. All right, let's see. Uh, help me, please. Um, pa -da 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 -um, Carla Elena, the first paragraph from Ghost Stories. Until this part, Carla. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Ghost, ghost stories. Does the world have had the power to inspire your heart to pop excitement through your veins in double time ever since you were a kid and on double, no, eso no sé cómo se pronuncia. On, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. Undoubtedly. will do the same as to embark on a getaway to a new country 
and her does to work while learning about the lo local culture and history. Aside from tropical beaches, on crowds, waves, and map. Mountain wiring. Mountain wiring. Pupusas. El Salvador is rich with legends and folklore that help to contribute to the unique people and culture that make your vacation destination what is today. Thanks. All right, Rebecca. While. While. South and Central America are rich with folklore. Many of the legends uh, we don't listen, Rebecca. You have to check the microphone. Okay, okay, okay. While a story and Central America are rich with folklore, many of the legends and the stories overlap, overlap, and vary, and vary from one country to the next, each having its own special twist. Um, Characterize, characterizing, par characterizing is a unique, a great deal of this tale. Oh, you have maybe some kind of issues with the microphone, Rebecca. Maybe it's, it's sorry, sorry. causing some okay. faults. Each. Mm -hmm. Okay. And very from one country to the next, each heaven is how a special twist. Characterizing it. Characterizing. He's a unique. A great deal of these tales go back to the colonization of El Salvador and are still tool to scare children today, mostly used to keep people from wandering alone in the night. While the options are overwhelming, overwhelming, here are a few of the more prominent tales, tools in El Salvador to send a shiver down your spine. Your spine, okay. Your spine. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. When you have questions with the vocabulary, what you can do is add copy. Uh, I'm going to check embark. What is embark? Embark is a verb. It's verb. a verb. Pronunciation. Embark. 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 What is that? Embark. To go. On to, go on to ship. On to a ship. All right. When you go to the sea, you embark onto a ship. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. Let's see. The first myth or the first legend is about the La? La Llorona. Have you heard La Llorona, La Llorona before? Have you heard it? Have you heard it? The Mexican. Ah, be careful with that. Uh -huh. let's, yes. let's listen. This legend is Mexican. Really? La Llorona? Hi, I guess so, right? It's Mexican. Okay, let's listen. And then uh, Daniel is going to read about La Llorona. Okay, but first, let's listen, guys. L.A. Llorona. This sad, ghostly woman can be heard crying along the riverbanks at night, looking for any children that may be unfortunate enough to cross her path. In an attempt to get back at the man she loved who chose another woman, La Llorona decided to drown her children in an act of revenge. Once she realized the horror that she had committed, she drowned herself as well. However, she was not allowed to pass on into the afterlife, and was sent back to the earth to find her children and gain their forgiveness. Trapped between the living world and the spirit world, she now wanders around crying and searching for her children. And isn't afraid to take any random children in the hopes of passing them off as her own. Never, ever follow the sound of her cries in the night, 
she may try to drown you next. Wow, it's scary. That's a scary. The story is bad, ugly. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Huh, Daniel? Okay, Someone maybe has... some maybe someone has opened the mic. The mechanics Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, guys, that's important. Only the participant should have the microphone active and the, the rest keep it turned off. All right, so we, we don't have any interruption. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, uh, this is a story about La Llorona. This side, ghostly woman can be heard crying along the river banks at night, looking for any children that may be unfortunate enough to cross her path. In an attempt to get back at the man she loved to close to choose another woman, Irona decided to drown her children in an act of revenge. Once she realized the horror that she had a commitment, she drowned herself as well. Whoever she has not allowed to pass on into afterlife and was sent back to the earth to find the children to gain their forgiveness. Okay? Hmm? Forgiveness, yes, forgiveness. Trapped? Okay, trapped between the living world and the spirit world. She now wanders around crying and searching for her children and isn't afraid to take any random children in the hopes of passing them around. Never, ever follow the sun or the cries in the night. She may try to down, drown to the next. To drown you next. She may try to drown, drown to you next. next. What is drown when you go swimming and you say, ah, help me, I cannot swim. I And you start drowning. That means going down underwater. Like you are fighting, fighting with, with your hands in order to be alive. Okay. How, what is the sound of La Llorona? Girls, can you make it? How, what, how does she do? How does she do? Como hace? Gertz? Because we don't have Llorones, right? Only Llorona. Uh -huh. How does she make? How does she make it? Hey, Gertz, I have Amaris, Ada, Xiomara. No? <laughs> don't want to try? <laughs> okay, guys. Richard. Uh -huh. Maybe some page has the sound in this uh, page, I don't know, on the website. In here. Ah, check the microphone because suddenly is disconnected. Uh, nobody wants to do how La Llorona does. Okay, I am see who she cries. All right, good. Okay, next, uh, the next one, maybe, uh, let's see, Carla Alicia. Is Carla online? Yes, I see you connected. Carla, Carla. Yes, teacher. All right. Let's see, the next one is? Uh -huh. El Tabudo. Hey, did you know this story? No, teacher, I don't know. No, don't know about El Tabudo? Let's see. No. Sound, sound music. Ah, okay, yes, that's right. I I didn't realize about the music. That's that's it. Apologize. The, the tabu is a story in El Salvador, but it's not very well known as the others. Let's see. Yes, Daniel. I, I don't listen any music. No, I don't. I don't listen to music. I don't know. Maybe there is 
someone with a radio or TV, but no, I don't listen anything. Yes, that's weird. It's weird. Guys, do you listen to do you listen to music? Guys? Yes. Ah. At this moment, no. No, I I don't listen to any music. Okay, let's see. Maybe Francisco. Francisco, hello. Francisco or Gabriel. Okay, Francisco, can you read this uh, paragraph about the tabudo? Then we are going to listen. Uh -huh. Francisco Sanchez or, or Gabriel or Carla Elena? Any of you? Okay, teacher. Thanks. Man. A popular tale among fishermen El Tabudo is also known as the man with big knees. According to Leyen, he was once a wealthy fisherman who was one day taken by the sea and eventually repaired as something more fish than man. His signature being his large, no no novit key novitness he now awaits all visitors to lakes and lagoons appearing to people as a humble fisherman in order to win over their trust and confidence so that he can lure them of the middle of the lake once he gets his victims where he wants them, he reveals his true appearance and turns the men into large, colorful fish and transforms two women into sirens of the sea. El Salvador is full of delicious fish, so beware of the man with big knees the next time you go out to catch your meal. Your meal. Oh, do you like fish, guys? You like fish? Yes. Be, be careful with, <laughs> yeah. with the tabudo then. Because check. Ah, he reveals his true appearance and turns the men into large colorful fish and transforms the women into... What is the pronunciation of the word sirens in plural? See? Siren. But in plural is sirens because we have it in the paragraph. Into sirens of the sea, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. Be careful with the tabudo then when you eat fish. Yes, Daniel? Uh, uh. Uh huh. Okay, Francisco, all right, no problem. Sorry, teacher, uh, the, another type or another kind of mention to the siren is mermaid. Ah, that's right, the mermaid, yes. Mar mermaid. Mermaid. Uh, it's wrong. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, mermaid. Mermaid, there it is. Uh -huh, it correct. In this country, I I had never heard that history. Uh, mm, you know, it, it's kind of weird, right? El tabudo. Uh -huh. But it doesn't mention where it comes from. But that's a story. It's a legend as well. All right. Let's listen. Check the pronunciation of the words so you can check. Let's listen. A popular tale among fishermen. El Tabudo is also known as the man with big knees. According to legend, he was once a wealthy fisherman who was one day taken by the sea, and eventually reappeared as something more fish than man, his signature being his large, knobby knees. He now awaits all visitors to lakes and lagoons, appearing to people as a humble fisherman in order to win over their trust and confidence so that he can lure them out to the middle of the lake. 
Once he gets his victims where he wants them, he reveals his true appearance and turns the men into large, colorful fish and transforms the women into sirens of the sea. El Salvador is full of delicious fish, so beware of the man with big knees the next time you go out to catch your meal. That's it. All right, good. Next legend is our very is yours, Rebecca. Check. El Cadeco. This is the story. This is the tale. Okay, let's listen to it. Then we are going to make some reading. Okay. This story comes in the form of two huge dogs, one with black fur and one with white, one representing good while the other represents evil. The black Kadijo is an evil spirit who appears to those who wander alone late at night, using his red, hot, coal, like eyes to hypnotize his victims in an attempt to steal their souls. The white Kadijo is there to provide protection for his faithful believers, especially children. Some report to have seen a brawl break out between the two in a fight for the soul, while others claim that the white Kadijo has appeared to help a drunk wanderer get home safely. Some versions of the legend state that after realizing how many difficulties and obstacles arise for mortal humans in everyday life, some good, fortune gods decided to create the white Kadijo in an attempt to offer some sort of comfort and protection to those of good will and good faith on earth. After seeing this, the devil got jealous and decided to make a black dog of his own to wreak havoc, counteracting the powers of the white dog. Regardless of the origins of El Kadijo, it's safe to say that the story inspires children to avoid wandering about after dark. Okay, that's it. Let's see, next uh, reader, maybe, uh, let's see, Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel, maybe. Ada, hello, hello. Guys, guys, you're there. Hector, Hector, help me out with uh, this okay. part. Okay. This story come in the form of two hook dogs, one with black fur and one with wild. One represent good wild, the other represent evil. The black carajo is an evil spirit who appeal to these two dogs who wander along late at night using his frail, hot, cool, late ace to hypnotize his victim in a attempt to steal their soul. The white carejo is there to provide protection for his faithful believers, believers, especially children. Some report to have seen a broke break out between the two and five for the soul. Why other clam to the white carejo has appeared to help a drunk wonder gets home safe. safely. Okay, that is the first part. Thank you. Thank you so much. In which PowerPoint are these links? Uh, guys, in the presentation, check. The presentations are uploaded in the Google Drive. This is the Google Drive. You will find all presentations in this part uh in free advance check when you click on when you click on this link at the end of the presentation you will have access check that's how you can get the presentations all right the link is at the end always at the end of the presentation all thank right you, thank you thank you so much all right thank you next Next, next, this part, please. Now is the practice that you can do with the reading, guys. You are practicing uh, pronunciation. You are checking grammar. Some, uh -huh. some versions of the legend state that after realize, realizing what, 
how many difficulties and obstacles arise for mortal humans in everyday life. Some good fortune gods decided to create the white Kadejo in an attempt to offer some sort of comfort and protection to those of good will and good faith on earth. After seeing this, the devil got jealous and decided to make to make a black dog of his own to wake ha havoc, counteracting the powers of the white dog, regardless of the origins of El Cadejo, it's safe to say that the story inspires children to avoid one wandering about after dark. After dark. Okay, wandering means walking on the streets very late at night. So be careful. You might see the white cabejo that is good, as Daniel was saying, or the black cabejo that is, that is bad if you see it. All right, it's pretty clear. Okay, good. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, next, uh, Xiomara, the next, the next, uh, the next legend, Xiomara, what is the next legend? La Siwanaba. Oh, La Siwanaba, it's famous, right? Okay, you can read it. Okay. La Siwanaba refers to a horrible woman. Ah, uh, uh, from here. Oh, from here. La Siwanaba. Siwanaba, Siwa or Sewa, refers to a horrible woman previously known as Siwet, Siwetwet. Siwetwet, Siwetwet. Siwetwet. And it's um, a gas. It's a gas to be well. A ghost. It's a ghost to beware of late at night. She appears in the night as a beautiful woman in a sheer, often white dress with long, beautiful hair. She summons men wandering in the dark, often targeting those who are drunk, conceited, 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 conceited and looking for a conquest, and as well as men who are unfaithful to their woman. She then seduces the men who are looking to, to uh, who are looking to seduce her, introduce her. But once, but, but once they close enough to touch. The men thinking they are, they have just about scored. She reveals her true self, transforming into a thing of, of horror. Or... Some of horror. Some versions say that she was so terrified, terrifying, terrifyingly, uh -huh. terrifyingly, terrifyingly ugly. Ugly she was. That she was nearly deformed. deformed. While others say her face was a bare school, and some variations even claim that she had the the head of the head of a heart. of a horse. Regardless, she is such a terrible sight to see that the man who has the means fortune of lying his eyes on her will either die or fright or go completely mad. Crazy, like was, crazy. Uh -huh. Yes. La Siwanaba came to be this way when, as a wet beautiful woman, she was married to the son of Tlaloc, the god of the rains, 
and had affairs while he was away at war and became pregnant with the with the son of her lover as a result. Oops. As a result of these as affairs. Of these affairs, as a punishment for a, for her seduction and infidelity, the log soft, soft, soft out the help of um Almighty of, God, Almighty God, named the the oath, and together they cursed and condemned not only Siwewet but her son as well. Now, Siwanaba is stuck in a state of horror and deceit and terrorizes those who are guilty of the same crime she was committed and, and is stopped to forever look for her son. Aye, who is her son? Sipio. Yes, Sipio. Here it is. Okay, guys, yeah, pretty interesting, but I didn't know that La Siwanaba had this name, Siwewet. Siwewet. In Nahuatl, maybe? I didn't know. <laughs> Let's see, Siwewet. Wet yeah, is in Nahuatl. Okay, I opened early. Oh. This another link where you can read. Check. You have a listening in this part. You should listen to it. It's pretty cool. And check more information. That's why reading it's pretty cool. You you know a lot. Uh-huh. Someone can read. We have eight minutes. Can you read this part? Anyone? In Honduras, she is no has la sigua. <laughs> and in Costa Rica has sewa. Uh different, right? Her legends, he's also knowing Mexico, but Somehow, somehow has become tied, conflicted with a uh, Masiwatli or Extabai, which means horse face. Oh, we can fail. <laughs> horse face woman, which mean which mean the two different but similar stories. Ah, which might might be. Might. Sorry, which might be. Two different but similar stories. Ah, okay, they are they are different but similar. They contradict. Check the face to horse woman. I don't that imagine. <laughs> I guess so. Let's see. We have more more uh more details about this. Uh -huh, maybe uh let's see who else. Friends. Uh, okay, Daniel. Uh -huh. mm. In El Salvador, according to the legend, to legend, she was originally called Siwewet, which means beautiful woman in Nahuatl. Legend tells that she used her charms in with help from a bruja. She got to the prince Jason, Jason to marry her. Jason went to the war in Siwewet took this time to have affairs in the others and the in of these affairs. She burdened a child a child known as El Cipitio. El Cipitio father was a god called Lucero in the La Mañana. A Lucifer oh. mom. My gosh. Okay, it's now we are Jesus, we sorry. know about the <laughs> GPTO's father, not only about the mother, right? Check. Yeah. I didn't know. All yeah, right. Is, okay. Uh huh. Interesting. Now, uh -huh, okay, now? Yeah, another. Okay, uh, continue. Uh, okay, thank you, Daniel. Who wants to continue with the next part? We have uh, five minutes. We can finish with this. It turns. Uh huh. The Siwanaba, she only attacked men. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Because as as we read in the paragraph, as we read, it is in this part. Uh, that I know this is about the Cadejo. Uh, let me see the this one. 
Uh, ah, she. Seduce the man. She summons men wandering in the dark after targeting those who are drunk. Imagine drunk men, especially, considering and looking for a con conquest, as well as men who are yeah. men who are, check. Unfaithful. Unfaithful Faith. to their women. 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 What is unfaithful? Unfaithful? Uh -huh. Adjective. What's unfaithful? Traitor. Repeat it, Hector. Traitor. Uh, Engaña. No, adjective. Unfaithful. Uh, Having. You can read the definition, guys. Having. Having a sexual relationship or experience with a person who is not your husband, wife, or usually sexual partner. Ah, someone who is not your wife or your husband. That this means is amante. No, unfaithful is the adjective. Amante would be a noun. Lover would be amante. And lover is a noun. Unfaithful is the adjective and means infiel. Oh, okay. Faithful is the positive adjective. Faithful, fiel. And the opposite? Unfaithful. Unfaithful. That's it. Those are those are two adjectives. Okay. All right. Yeah, unfaithful men. That's it. Pretty clear. Two day women. All right. Good. Guys, I would like to... I would like to say uh, you, with you reading, getting more details about these stories and legends, but you have the links. Check. The links are in the presentation, as I tell you. All right. This is the other one. So you can read and practice your, your reading and get more details. Check. You can Teacher. continue with that. Yes. Teacher, with the link to the download that uh, presentation is only the number six ah until the number six after presentation six yeah let me check okay i'm gonna be uploading see no number four uh, no number eight seriously yes station eight, eight. eight. Yes. but i try to i try to download but they only only get only six i don't know what I'm going to send the link in the chat in this moment so you can copy it and save it. Maybe you have an incorrect link. Okay, thank you. Not a problem. Okay, guys, be careful. Guys, especially you, boys. Careful with the <laughs> one now. It's not a joke. And in girls, don't be at night on the streets. All right, be careful. Okay. At any time with the cabejo. <laughs> All right, with uh, with the uh, the other one. Remember the other the. Cipitio. Uh, Cipitio. No, the with tabudo. the the tabudo, tabudo girls. Yes, careful with the tabudo as well, especially when you're gonna eat fish for lunch. All right, good, good practice, guys. Remember, reading is pretty cool. You can learn vocabulary. Check the words in the dictionary. You can learn about the pronunciation, definitions, a lot, a lot of things you can you can do with the readings. Okay, guys, don't take any more time from you. Good night. See you tomorrow for the next class on the week number three. Thank you for participating, guys. Thanks so much. See you. Hi, teacher. Bye. Bye-bye. Yes. Oh. Hope you don't have any nightmare tonight. Bye-bye. <laughs> See, See you. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night.